Have you ever wanted to take this thing and smash the heck out of it? Yeah, me too. It's episode 34 of In Real Life. This episode is brought to you by Bumble Ride Strollers. Enjoy the ride of your life with Bumble Ride. Quick poll. How many of you guys have been to the park with your kids and you see all the parents and they're looking down at their phones? How many of you been that parent? How many of you have actually looked forward to nursing because you know you can sit down and look at your phone? It's true, these phones seriously are such a big part of parenting and they can be a tremendous distraction. In fact, my mind is seriously now rewired to find opportunities to use my phone all the time. Like, what do I do with all these extra tomatoes? What are we doing today? When does Mad Men start again? Why do we do it? Because parenting is hard work and we need those little breaks, an emotional or mental release to kind of break up the day because being present 24 seven with your children is nearly impossible. Uh, and the truth is, Mamas and papas have been escaping since the beginning of time. They had their version of the iPhone. You know, maybe in the 70s, moms were smoking and having a tab. Or maybe your mom liked to knit for a break, or watch a soap opera, or read a novel. You know, parents need that to kind of get through. And frankly, kids even need breaks. It's just part of human nature. But I feel like the smartphone has snuck in and it's just become this unconscious, continual break. It's just always there, insidiously, interrupting our connection with our family and our children. So I am really trying to combat this. And some of the things that I've been doing that I've been helping is be more conscious about my breaks because the truth is I'm going to need them throughout the day. I just am. And so when I do need one, I will pause. I tell Griffin and Paloma, not so much Paloma, but hey, I need to take a break. So once you look at your book for a few minutes, mommy's going to get back to a couple people and we'll reconvene in 10 minutes. And then it has a beginning it has an end I'm owning it instead of just trying to do this and like play Legos at the same time and uh, it's working so much better for me the other thing I do and I've actually been doing this for a while and I love it is if I'm gonna go play outside with Griffin or go on an adventure I will purposely leave my phone at home I don't need it I don't care about it and you know what it's just gonna be a distraction and a temptation and it's been huge it's such a freedom and it allows me to connect with my children and my family. And in the next section, I'm gonna give you a tip of how you can actually use your phone to connect with life even more. Another quick poll for you. Do you pray? Yes. Do you believe in the power of prayer? Mm-hmm. Do you think you pray enough? Yeah, me neither. Michael and I went and heard this pastor speak this past weekend, and he asked us those three questions, and almost everyone answered them exactly the same way. And he invited us to look at prayer differently. Instead of it being this thing that we have to do, that we have to check off our list, uh, to make it more of a way of living, okay? Thinking of prayer as an adverb versus a noun or a verb. So you English people, you gotta now think about that. But um, yeah, it's about realizing that God is always with us, that that conversation is always open, and to not just segment it into this little portion of our life, either in the morning or at night. So let me give you an example of how, what that could look like. So let's say we walk outside and it's a beautiful fall day, the sun is shining, the leaves are turning these beautiful colors. You could just pause and say, wow, God, what a gorgeous day, thank you. Uh, or let's say, for example, like the other day, I'm playing with Paloma and she comes walking towards me and she's smiling and laughing. And I just thought, thank you, God, that I have this wonderful daughter who's so happy to see me. Uh, what a gift she is in my life. So now when I pray at night, it doesn't sometimes feel like it's the first time I'm talking to God. It's kind of just the continuation of the conversation that I've had all day. Uh, in fact, he gave us this little trick, and I really hope you guys will try this, okay? So we take our phones and we actually get them to work for us to connect with our creator more, okay? So what you're gonna do is go to your calendar and you're gonna create a new event. And you're gonna make this a repeating event and it's gonna give you an alert. You wanna set an alert. And you set it for 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 9 p.m. And in the title of this event, just simply write, I'm here. 
And so what's going to happen is three times a day, you're going to get this pop-up that says, I'm here on your phone. You can see the power in this because it's so easy to get swept up by the demands of the day and forget that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So these little reminders kind of break through and remind us of that truth. I want to play a bit of a trailer that really moved me. We may literally be changing what it means to be human with this overuse of antibiotics. So there was this real big push to not only provide convenience, but to make cooking from scratch appear less desirable, silly, and unnecessary. Powerful stuff, right? Well, it's all part of this Wellness Family Summit that's coming up from October 13th to the 20th. Now, this is a free online event, and all of these experts from all these various areas are going to come together and give us tips and tricks on how to raise a family that is healthy, vibrant, how to turn around our own health, how to get kids to like real food, all this sort of stuff. And I've been honored to be included in one of those speakers, so you'll see me if that's interesting to you. Uh, so I really hope you'll join us. I'll have a link in the video description below. And again, it's free. And now a word from our sponsor. Ah, uh, the Bumble Ride. We've had this baby for four years and she's holding up great, but it's not exactly built for two. So we upgraded to the Indy Twin. Yes, we are a Bumble Ride family. And I have to be honest, I resisted getting a double stroller because they always seem so ginormous, but this one is pretty compact, it's lightweight, and I love the way it rides. One of my main ways to exercise is walking, and there is no better way to do it than put my babies in here and go. If you wanna learn more about these awesome strollers, I'll have a link in the video description below. Do you ever feel like you're on the phone too much when you're parenting? Have you ever set boundaries around it? Share with me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. This helps us spread the word and reach more natural mamas. Just so you know, we do two videos a week. On Tuesdays, it's usually some kind of natural living tip or trick, and on Thursdays, it's always the IRL show. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos, and we'll catch you next time.